Welcome back to my Drupal 7 tutorial how to create your website uh, this is the second part of it called setting environment and during this tutorial we are creating YouTube Junkie website uh, during this second part we will be preparing the environment we will be working uh, on so basically we will install Drupal we will connect it to the database and perform some, uh, some initial configuration okay so uh, first what we have to do is uh, have some server I have it I am actually connected to the FTP uh, right now and what I'm gonna do I'm going to copy the Drupal 7.15 installation files to to the desired location and yeah so we will have to wait until it's copied I'll just skip the part and we will start uh, immediately when it's done okay all the file files are there so I just have to enter the exact place where the files are and we shall start the installation I will go with standard installation because we will we will not do anything out of the ordinary it will be in English okay now it asks about uh, database so we are we are using uh, MySQL I have some data prepared for it so let's just give him the name the username and the password okay the installation is progressing let's hope it goes well alright so mm, let's call our site YouTube Junkie tutorial okay let's give him some fake uh, uh, email address okay let's uh, uh, maintenance account okay let's say I am creating YouTube admin account and let's give him some weak password okay okay that's it so nothing out of the ordinary let's go and there you go it's already it will actually automatically redirect us to the uh, website uh, in the admin mode so we have this overlay which actually is the administration panel you can see that we are uh, logged in as uh, as an admin if I take a look at the site uh, how it looks right now okay with uh, without admin so as a normal visitor I see something like this so perfectly standard Drupal mm, standard layout no content whatsoever and this is actually our starting point uh, because from here we move uh, to our target and the target is something like this okay uh, so uh, we actually cannot do anything here except for logging and if when logged I can uh, I have uh, not much to do I have uh, if I want to add new content I have only I guess basic page and article nothing more so standard content types and also there are some themes uh, which are always provided by default in Drupal and we are currently using Bartik uh, I will disable the 7 we will not need this and Bartik we will not need soon enough because in in the next part of the tutorial we'll be actually preparing our own 
own theme so so our environment is ready we have a starting point which is a clean installed version of Drupal 7.15 and let's go to part 3 where we actually create a new theme and uh, you know make our site start looking as it should thanks guys and see you around